Welcome to the video that will change your perception of money. Money, as we know it today, has come a long way indeed. Its origins can be traced back to the ancient times when people resorted to the barter system, exchanging goods and services instead of using currency. However, as societies grew larger and transactions became more complex, the limitations of barter became evident, and with that came the need for a more standardized form of payment. This led to the birth of coins, which were introduced as a medium of exchange around 700 BCE. The value of these coins was determined by the metal they were made of, and they were widely circulated for centuries to come. As time passed, paper money came into existence, and the first recorded use of paper money can be traced back to ancient China during the Tang Dynasty. From then on, paper money slowly spread throughout the world, and today we use banknotes as the primary form of currency. The evolution of money hasn't stopped here, however, and with the advancements of technology, we are witnessing the rise of digital currencies and contactless payment methods. Who knows what the future holds for the concept of money? The financial system we currently have is based on the fiat money system, which means that the value of money is not backed by a commodity like gold, as it was under the gold standard. Instead, fiat money has value because the government has declared it legal tender and people have confidence in it. This system allows for more flexibility in monetary policy, enabling central banks to adjust interest rates and money supply in response to changing economic conditions. However, it also carries the risk of inflation and currency devaluation if the government prints too much money. The gold standard, on the other hand, limited the money supply to the amount of gold reserves, which helped maintain stability but limited the flexibility of monetary policy. While both systems have their advantages and disadvantages, the world has predominantly shifted towards the fiat money system. Have you ever wondered about the process of making money? How does a blank piece of paper turn into a piece of currency that people can use to buy goods and services? Well, get ready to take a behind-the-scenes look at the process. It all starts at the Bureau of Engraving and Printing, which is responsible for producing the nation's paper currency. The process isn't a simple one and involves multiple steps that require precision, high security measures, and a lot of skill. From the design stage to cutting and packaging, every step of the process goes through strict quality control measures to ensure the money is perfect for circulation. The Bureau also prints millions of dollars daily to meet the country's increasing demand for cash, which is then transported to the Federal Reserve Banks. So the next time you hold a dollar bill or any currency, remember that behind it is a long and complex process that makes it possible. When we hand over or receive money, we merely focus on the denomination and not on how the specific note reached our hand. However, money notes pass through several stages before reaching our wallet. Throughout its journey, Notes travel through various financial institutions, including banks and currency exchange bureaus. From printing to distribution, every dollar bill undergoes a money cycle process, which comprises of various stages. The complexity of the money cycle process is often hidden behind the apparent simplicity of transacting in cash. In this section, we will delve into the complex web of processes and people involved in the money cycle to gain a better understanding of the many stages that a single bill goes through.
Banks are a crucial part of our financial system as they provide a wide range of services including loans, investments, and savings. However, despite being considered as transparent institutions, there exist some hidden secrets that banks don't want their customers to know. One of these secrets is that banks charge their customers for various services without proper disclosure. For instance, a customer may be required to pay high fees for transactions or use of an ATM. Another dark secret is that banks use complicated terminology and jargon that is not understandable to laypeople, which makes it hard to know what is happening behind the scenes. With such a lack of transparency, the banking system can be seen as one that favors the banks over the customers. However, by educating ourselves and asking important questions to our banks, we can level the playing field and make informed decisions about our finances. Cryptocurrency is not just a buzzword, it is a reality that is slowly taking over the world. To put it simply, cryptocurrency is a digital or virtual currency that is secured using cryptography, making it impossible to counterfeit or double spend. Unlike fiat money, which is issued by governments and backed by their respective economies, cryptocurrency operates without a central authority, making it decentralized. This means that transactions are recorded on a public ledger, which is maintained by a network of computers around the world, instead of a single centralized entity. Additionally, Cryptocurrencies are not subject to government control or interference, making them an attractive option for those who value privacy and independence. ETFs or exchange-traded funds are investment funds traded on the stock exchanges, much like individual stocks. ETFs allow investors to diversify their portfolios by buying into a basket of assets such as stocks, bonds, or commodities. They offer many advantages such as lower fees, flexibility, transparency, and liquidity. ETFs are usually passively managed and seek to replicate the performance of an underlying index. Investors can buy and sell ETFs throughout the trading day, making them a popular choice among retail and institutional investors. Whether you are a seasoned investor or a beginner looking to learn about investing, ETFs can be an excellent addition to your portfolio. So if you're looking to learn more about investing, understanding ETFs is a great place to start. Finally, we'll give you some amazing tips that will help you make the most out of your money. Investing money in the right way can reap amazing dividends and secure your financial future. Before investing, it is essential to have a clear understanding of your financial goals. Evaluate what you need the money for, whether it be for short-term or long-term goals. Consider factors like your risk tolerance, investment horizon, and diversification strategy. It is also crucial to stay updated on the latest market trends and investment opportunities. Keep track of the performance of your investments and make informed decisions based on your goals. Remember, a well-informed investment strategy can go a long way in fulfilling your financial aspirations. That's it for today. We hope this video has helped you gain a better understanding of money. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.